can I get cancer from diverticulosis? And am I at risk for any complications? Diverticulosis is not associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. As I mentioned, most people who have diverticular disease will never even experience symptoms. The two most common complications are rectal bleeding and diverticulitis. Rectal bleeding is caused by a small blood vessel in a diverticulum that weakens and then bursts. So if you see blood in the toilet, you should contact your doctor because usually a colonoscopy can be performed in order to identify and stop the source of bleeding. Diverticulitis, on the other hand, usually presents with left lower abdominal pain that can be associated with a change in bowel habits, fevers, chills, nausea, and vomiting. Depending on the severity of your symptoms, your physician may recommend oral antibiotics, bed rest, a pain reliever, and a liquid diet. More severe cases, on the other hand, often require a hospital stay. And if you've had multiple attacks of diverticulitis, your doctor may actually refer you to a surgeon in order to get that part of your colon removed to prevent any further complications.